your body's always showing you signs, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to listen. <laughs> Here are three major signs you're dealing with an energy vampire. And I'll give you an exercise that you can do at the end so you can tell who is your energy vampire. I remember when I was dealing with a very toxic, narcissistic person, I didn't feel anything. Well, at the time, I was cut off from all of my emotions because of traumatic situations. I digress. So I didn't feel this person give me like weird gut feelings or anything like that. But I, but I sure did scratch. Seriously, I, I broke out into hives. I started itching everywhere, my thighs, on my legs. So that's one major sign. Your body will tell you by literally breaking out into hives. The second one is the one that I love and trust the most now is feeling. How do I feel when I'm around that person? How do I feel when I leave that person's presence? Do you feel like you're giving more than receiving? Is there an imbalance of energy there? Every time you see those person, are you constantly giving them advice? Are you helping them with situations in their life or whatever the case is? Or are they doing that for you? Are they holding space for you when you need that time as well? The exercise that I love to do with my clients, I call back all my energy from people, places, and things who have taken my energy without my knowledge or with my knowledge. In about three days, you'll start to know who your energy vampires are because they'll pop up out of nowhere and start to send you text messages like, hey, big head. That's you calling back your energy, and they sense that. They need that. That's why they're called energy vampires. Like and follow for more. Feminine healing, manifesting. And now we're just learning about your intuition.